Hey guys, uh, this is Arun here, and in this video, I want to show you guys like how to automate taking your dissolution droplet snapshot. For this, we need two, three things. Uh, one is like uh, two dissolution droplet and two snapshot script, and apart from that, we need a dissolution API key. Okay. So let's get started with the first with the dissolution API key. First, you need to log into your dissolution account, and here you click on this API tab. After that, just click on this generate new token button. Here, you give uh, any name for the API key. In this video, I'm going to give like for backup script. Make sure that you select like read and write option to click generate token. So, just copy this API token somewhere in Notepad. We'll be using this token in future. This one. Let me explain you for one more thing before that. So I have right now I have two droplets running on my dissolution account. One is like automated script server and another one is like server to backup. So in this server I'm going to run the script 24 into 7 so that any other server, for example, if I need to take the backup or snapshot of this, uh, this script will uh, keep running every time because uh, snapshot need to be power of now. So we need a separate droplet for this future. Okay. So let's get started with the process. To install this uh, do snapshot script on my uh, Ubuntu operating system, I need Ruby and Rails. Okay, so let's get started with installing Ruby and Rails on my Ubuntu 14.04 version. So just copy paste these comments on your server. This is the uh, Ubuntu server I'm running. Okay. Yes, like this. After that, copy this one. Paste it over here. Click enter. Just keep executing one by one command, that's it. Then nothing else you need to take here actually. Yeah, uh, looks like that installation got completed. So after that you can observe this uh, last few lines, you will come to know that to start using RBM, we need to run some command. Just copy this command, okay, again paste it here and execute it, done. So after that uh, we need to run this command uh, to download this uh, do snapshot script, okay. So I will just run this command as well, enter. So now we are downloading this uh, do snapshot script. Let's click on directory we we'll see yeah here we downloaded that uh, do snapshot script so now we'll go and extract those files copy to this another directory this folder whatever we extracted now so I'm copying to user local directory from this one just keep executing the commands whatever I have given here in this article Yes, so here uh, we have done almost uh, this one, do snapshot uh, installation and everything was done right now. So now what we need to do is we need to get the DigitalOcean droplet ID. Okay, so I am going to click on this uh, droplet because uh, this is the droplet uh, which I need to automate for taking of this, uh, what is that, snapshot. Okay, so this is the droplet ID, again I am going to copy and paste it on notepad. configure now so yeah after taking this distribution drop uh, this one uh, droplet id what we need to do is we need to copy this one copy this one and open node and maximize it just replace these things okay this is a command actually yeah this is the droplet id right i'll copy it I'll paste it over here, my droplet ID. So this version has a token. I'm copying this one, my mine, and I'm replacing with this one. Okay. So do snapshot into assess token. This is my assess token, which and this is my droplet ID. So minus K3. It is going to keep only three latest back uh, snapshots. Just 
copy and execute on your this one. Okay. Let's see whether this script working or not. Yeah, looks like it started working. So you can see that it's already started shutting down the droplet. So you can see the status on your dissolution account. I will just refresh it over here. Yeah, looks like uh, it started uh, taking snapshot now, uh, right now. So most probably it will be power off. Yeah, as you can see here, uh, this script already started uh, taking backup uh, uh, snapshot of this uh, uh, this droplet. So that's why it's got powered off. So you can see the status over here. Yeah. As you can see that uh, the snapshot of this droplet has been successfully completed. If you want to see means you can go ahead and open this uh, droplet. Uh, go to snapshot. Just refresh it. As you can see here we don't have any snapshot over right now. So yes, you can see here snapshot. Uh, this right now just now we took the snapshot with this command or uh, with that script. To automate it we need to make it as a cron job okay uh, we need to set that command in cron job uh, before that we need to execute few more uh, few more commands okay so I'll, I'll be copying these commands and I'll be wasting over I'll be running on my Ubuntu server so just copy and run it like this Now we will set up the cron job. Cron job command will be like cron tab minus e iPhone sorry space hyphen e. So I will be using nano editor as always. Just go to the bottom of the page. Just copy this one. First open notepad. Okay, like this. Paste it over here. I will be replacing my this one, this solution as a token here instead of this one. My droplet ID, I'm going to paste it here. Let's copy it. Before that, let me see my server timings. Date. Okay, you can see uh, six, six, right? So I'll make it as zero six. Instead of six, I'm going for two more minutes. Okay, I'll keep it uh, six eight. Okay. Yes. What it is going to do is I'll just copy and first I'll set the cron tab later. Cron tab minus is scroll to the bottom of this page. Enter. Paste it over here. Save it. Control X. Yes. You can see that. Yeah, we already implemented the cron tab. So what this command is going to do is every day at 6, 8 this command is going to run. Okay. So what this command is going to do is uh, this is the, uh, this droplet it is going to take the snapshot and it will keep only three latest snapshot. Okay. So if you want to increase the number of snapshot to be there on your account, just increase the number to 12 or something whatever you uh, you are according to your requirements. Okay. So. After that, yeah, right now uh, time is 6 8 and our current tab time is also like 6 8. So now, most probably, it will be executing this uh, current tab or current job. So, in few minutes, the server again need to go uh, power off. So, just open this drop right. So as you can see that right now our current app is executing and our automation was successfully done. So because of that one, right now the snapshot is going on. Okay. So hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Bye.